And with that, it's time to move forward, move into the official launch of the most awaited Dan E4M digital report. May I once again please call upon stage Mr. Ashish Basin, Chairman and CEO, South Asia Dentsu Ages Network. Mr. Avinash Pandey, COO, ABP News. I'd also like to call forward the Dentsu Ages Network Digital Council, Mr. Vivek Bhargava, Mr. Rajiv Dhingra, Mr. Tane Kumar, Mr. Siddharth Rao, Mr. Gautam Mehra, Mr. Anurag Gupta, Mr. Anubhav Santalia. I'd also like to invite on stage Mr. Sam Singh, Director of Agency Business Google India, and Mr. Uday Sodhi, EVP and Head Digital Business, Sony Pictures Network, India. I'd also like to invite on stage Mr. Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, Exchange for Media, and Mr. Naval Ahuja, Co-Founder, Exchange for Media. Mr. Shamsuddin Jasani, Managing Director, ISOBA. If you may also please join us on stage. Mr. V. Chandra Molly, CEO of Special Projects, Spidilite Industries. Sir, please do join us. All right, so are we ready? Yes, sir. Mr. Prashant Perez from Mondelez. Sir, if you may please join us on stage as well. And so now that we have almost everyone on stage, I think let's go for it. Yes, Mr. Basim? Yes, absolutely. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the second edition of the Dan E4M Report, Digital Report. And that is our photo opportunity, so I'm going to request all of you to hold the report in your hand for the perfect picture. All right, and I think we've got the shot that we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Another huge round of applause. We have unveiled the Dan E4M Digital Report. Mr. Ashish Basin, at this point, I'm going to request you to reveal the highlights of the report. I'm just going to briefly introduce the report, and then my colleagues Rajiv and Abhik will take, uh, take you through the details of it. Uh, since everybody was using the sponsorship plugs, I thought uh, I should do that for Densu Ages Network as well. I've learned this from my uh, channel friends uh, like Avinash and others. Uh, we are the India's second largest uh, advertising network, roughly 3,500 colleagues. Are, we have 26 specialist agencies, out of which eight of them are digital specialist agencies. We've been the fastest growing in the, for the last three years, roughly about a billion dollars of uh, billings now, dominating out of home. Uh, and digital has really been the place where our maximum play has been. Out of our 26 agencies, eight of them are pure digital agencies. Roughly about 1,550 people work in digital out of the 3,500. And in some areas, particularly like search and performance, we're probably two and a half, three times the size of our competitors. And that really led us to look at digital a lot more seriously as a, as a medium and as a place where we see business going in the future. One of the... One of the uh, reasons that why we did, there were two reasons why we did this report. One is because we as a group have a very high focus on digital. So as the report will show you, roughly 15% of the market we estimate is digital of the advertising market as we stand today. But our group gets nearly 45% of its revenues from digital. So for us, it's where we think the business is growing and therefore we have made a very big play in this. The other bit is that we want to understand this whole digital evolution a lot better 
we couldn't find when we started this journey, which was now four or five years ago of getting uh, digital at a different level, we couldn't find a single report or a single place where you could learn more about the medium. There were a lot of data and figures available, but for every place where you refer to, you got a different set of figures, a different perspective. What we've tried to do here is to put together a certain set of sanctity, a certain amount of sanctity to the figures. And these are based, uh, what is different about this report is that these are based on feedback from marketeers, people who are actually going to be spending the money. They are telling you that in the next three or four or five years, where do they see their digital money is going? A little more in-depth dive into that. As well as the second part of this report takes us through little more trends that we are seeing from marketeers, little more crystal ball gazing and where the business is heading. I won't take away too much from the, uh, the actual presentation which Rajiv and Abhik will make, but suffice it to say that two or three things are coming out very clearly. One is that in 2020, and that is about three years away from today, less than three years away from today, in 2020, nearly one-fourth of India's advertising market, 24%, is going to be digital. Now, we've gone through this era, this phase where several of our competitors, it's really warmed my hearts, have been saying that, but digital is only 4%. Now they say, but digital is only 15%. In just two or three years from now, it's going to be one-fourth. And actually, you don't need research or a report to tell you that. You can virtually see this happening around you. The other trend is that we are pretty bullish on the overall advertising market. Uh, the Dense Wages Network report has said that uh, this year we expect a growth around 11-12%. We see a CAGR going forward of roughly 11% for advertising. But as far as digital is concerned, it's going to be almost 32%. So the news that is coming out from this report is that not only today, but for the next three or four years, at least digital is going to grow perhaps three times the rate of the average advertising market. So I think that's a clear trend which we see around us. Approximately from where we are today, today we estimate the industry size at around 60, 000, 57 to 60,000 uh, overall, the advertising industry. This will grow to roughly about 80,000 uh, in 2020 and roughly one-fourth of that, 24% of that is going to be digital. So there is a big play that we see happening and that CAGR, we see it continuing for at least the next three or four years. As far as our digital vision is concerned, amongst other things, we feel that they, we want to be driving the digital transformation. We don't want to be a digital media agency. Of course, that's a job or a part that we will do. But we, we don't see digital as a medium anymore. We see it as a way of doing business. And we see every single business is going to get transformed in some way or the other. And we actually want to partner our clients through this. Digital is also getting us into a sphere where the lines between creative and media and content are all blurring. Where does one stop? Where does the other one start? So there is a paradigm shift that is happening and many of the marketeers who grew up in the broadcast era, many of whom are today occupying very senior positions, they also need to retrain themselves as indeed a lot of people in the, uh, in the advertising agencies need to do. And we want to hold their hands and partner them through this because there is a tectonic shift happening at the consumer end. And I do feel that this is one of the areas where the consumer is far ahead of either the agencies or the marketeers. So definitely through this transformation is what we want to see our role as partnering. In this process, you cannot achieve that unless you have invested in technology and you've invested in talent. So that's where, that is where our vision is. We see more and more investments going in technology and in talent to make sure that in this process of digital transformation, we are partnering our clients as we go forward. My last slide before I uh, hand it over to Rajiv and to Abhik is that there are a few growth opportunities which are, you know, a few things that are going to drive this growth opportunity in a big way. One of which we sort of covered a little bit, touched upon a little bit uh, through a question uh, in, in the previous panel that, that uh, uh, with Arnab, Rajiv and uh, Raj on that. And that is the whole area of measurability. Now, digital by definition should perhaps be the most measured medium, most easily measurable medium. But unfortunately, even today, we don't have that kind of industry accepted clarity. So we are going to push for and we do hope we will achieve in the next two or three years 
a unified measurement system where everybody accepts that as the currency because unless you don't have a currency established and we've seen that in medium after medium unless that's not established you're not going to see the medium take off the way it should so that's definitely a growth opportunity and we see lots of signs in that bark we learned uh, earlier today is doing some things on that uh, the IRS report is covering a little bit of it, ABC is getting into it, and I'm sure several industry bodies are going to be getting into it, and we hope that in the next two or three years that consensus is, arri uh, arrives, is, uh, is arrived at. Also, the fact is that campaigns are now going to be a lot more data-driven, and this does not include just the digital campaigns. This, in fact, will impact the offline campaigns, or let's say what we were referring to as the traditional media campaigns equally, because digital as a medium, particularly through better access to data, which we get from partners like Facebook, like Google, like Twitter, and so on, will give you much more deeper insights into the consumer that we are reaching and what he or she are, uh, is doing, and therefore will help us sharp focus that a lot more. So I think the growth opportunity for all media, and particularly so for digital, is going to come from a lot more of data-driven, deeper understand, understanding of consumer-related campaigns. The last bit is that for every 100 new internet users that are coming into India, and there are going to be 250 million of them in the next five years, for every 100 of them that are coming in, more than 95 are coming in through mobile. We are moving from a mobile first nation to almost a mobile only nation. This report will also show you, I don't, I don't mean to uh, steal the thunder from it, that this is also the time where mobile has overtaken PCs. That you can see around us, and particularly with the way the mobile penetration is increasing, is only going to increase a lot more rapidly. Now, mobile is not just a medium. It, it can be effectively used as a medium, but it is almost a way of life. It is something that stays with us all, uh, all the time. And there are going to be 1.3 billion of uh, mobiles in less than three years, in about three or four years from today. So if we are getting into that, then the big growth opportunity for the medium and for us as advertising agencies and marketeers is going to come from how do we capture this mobile experience in a more improved manner because the consumer is living with the mobile. So how do we interact with this and how do we take it better? These are just some of the few very top-line kind of uh, uh, flavors that I'm, I'm just giving just to open this report. But with this, I will request my colleagues um, Rajiv Dingra, who's the CEO of What Consult, and Abhik, who's worked on this report with him, to please uh, come on stage and take us through a much more deeper understanding of the report. And before I uh, leave, I, I have to thank a few people. First of all, I want to thank the Exchange for Media Group, particularly Naval and Anurag for partnering us through this. This has truly been a team effort. Thank you, Team E4M. Thank you for all the efforts you put in. I must thank the entire Digital Council of Densu Ages Network, many of whom you saw on stage, who really put in a lot of hard work and effort and guidance in putting this. But the two people, I think, who deserve the most amount of credit for making this happen are the ones who are going to be taking you through this report, which is Rajiv and Abhik. Here, these are the guys who have actually worked on the report. Rajiv, Abhik. Good evening, everyone. Uh, so, Abhik is largely responsible to working on the report, and uh, I thought it'd be interesting if uh, I and him have a Q&A on the report rather than him doing a standard presentation. Uh, I'd invite any other questions from the audience as well as we are speaking. So, Abhik, we heard uh, Ashish talk about why we did this report, but uh, what is the uh, difference that this report has that other reports out there do not have? I mean, is there a methodology or what, what have we done differently? Right. So, uh, as Ashish mentioned, that we have reached out to around uh, all the marketers across industry verticals. 
um, we have adopted a very hybrid methodology to arrive at the numbers and the insights that we have gotten in the report. So we had conducted in-depth interviews with marketers across industry verticals to gain what are they spending on and why are they spending, if at all, on, on those media. We have spoken with publishers and industry experts to gather information on what are the prevalent trends and what are the f where will this industry grow in the future. Having said that, uh, this methodology has given us the scope to have a report which, although it talks on spends, that, okay, what's the spend on digital media, traditional media, etc., it also gives us a, an insight into, okay, where will this spend be in the next five years? which technologies or how the digital media will evolve in the given few years. So this is what is different about this report. I mean, we're talking more than numbers, we're getting into insights into what... Interesting. So uh, you mentioned proportion of ad spends. Uh, how is it that happening around the various media and what are the growth rate numbers, like a overall number that you want to tell people about? Right. So although Television has been the leader, the, um, the, the leader in advertising space with around 40% of spends going to television and print is following next with 34%. Digital, last year it was at 12% of the entire advertising market, this year has risen up to 15%. But if you look at the growth figures, the growth rates, while television is growing at 8% and print at 6%, I mean, and by 2020, the proportion of 40% and 20, 34% will shrink even further. Digital is growing the fastest at 32%. So, uh, so what is driving this growth? Okay, so uh, as Kunal had mentioned, the, the consumer behavior, where is the consumer consuming any kind of media? And we have had this discussion in the panels as well. The increasing penetration of smartphones, the, infra the growing infrastructure, 4G, rollout of 4G, and the um, falling cost of data, this is driving the consumers towards the screen, the, the mobile screen or the desktop screen, the di digital screen. This, married with the advance, technological advances, is increasing, increasing the adoption and the engagement of the audience on this medium. And for advertisers, measurability, the availability of hyper-targeting and geotagging. These things are driving both the advertisers and consumers towards this medium. And what, what kind of ad formats are advertisers spending on? So basically in digital we have uh, the major ad formats that uh, will be search, video, display, um, and social media. So in 2017, Social media has the highest spend share of 28%, followed by search, which is 26%, display at 21%, and video at 19%. But if you look at the trends, that how will this entire figure change by 2020? We have seen the highest growth in video and display, which is of 38% and 36%. Social media, although it will grow, uh, the, the growth is slower of 34%. The so, spend uh, share of search will in fact shrink by 2020 from what it is at right now, it's a 25% growth rate. So your research agrees with Arnab from the previous panel that video will be the thing to talk about. Yes, yes, it will Interesting. be. Interesting. Right? Um, so besides for the, uh, you know, ad formats, what are the various verticals that are spending on digital, industry verticals okay. that are spending? All right. So. On digital, e-commerce has the highest spend share of 19%, followed by FMCG, telecom and BFSI. Although these are interesting figures of e-commerce that is 19%, uh, FMCG 12% and telecom at, uh, FMCG 13% and telecom at 12%. If you look at the spend share, that is a percentage of their marketing budget, e-commerce has the highest spend, uh, highest proportion of digital spends of 30%, FMCG has only 8%, 7 to 8% of digital spends. Next comes telecom. So it's interesting that although FMCG is the top, it's still spending very little amount on digital. So you mean to say there's more scope? There is very huge scope for digital. For the growth through that. And how are brands seeing digital differently? 
uh, from other mediums. Right? Given so, that you spoke to a lot of marketers around yeah. this. So, till last year, or I mean, growing forward, all the marketers have said that they have looked at digital as a very performance-oriented medium. And uh, traditional media has been a very brand-building kind of media. But with the increased spends on video, with the availability of newer technologies for video, for display, etc., this, this scenario is changing. Now, digital, the brands are looking at digital as a very important brand-building medium in addition to performance. And th this is very evident from the increased growth and the, the future trends for video. Is there any uh, role or anything that brands are looking forward to from a marketing technology perspective? Are there any changes, any impact of different marketing technologies that you foresee uh, in the next two, three years through your research right. that came out? Okay. So, while everyone is talking about programmatic, the data-driven uh, analytics, the data-driven campaigns, which marketers are really looking at, they are looking at building their own data management platforms. Or agencies are also investing into a lot on data management platforms so that marketing automation can be brought about. Data analytics becomes actually an end thing right now and programmatic. And in addition to that, newer experiential technologies like augmented reality and virtual reality, these will drive and marketers are looking to adapt to these as soon as they become mainstream in India. All this is great, you know, there's a lot of growth, but what, what are the key challenges that marketers see uh, with digital uh, in India? You spoke to them both qualitatively. Uh, did they outline any challenges in specific? So yeah, I've outlined these in the report that the major challenge that a marketer faces is that of ad frauds and brand safety. And if, the, if they're putting the ad out, is it actually reaching the main audience? Everyone has that concern. And although it's being worked upon, the pace at which people are gaining trust is quite low, which in turn is reducing the pace of digital transformation in, in brands, among brands. This along with a lack of unified metric system. That means that if someone is putting X amount on digital and Y amount on television, there is no unified metric system to so show what is the ROI on, on, on the spend that they have gotten. All right. And th that's why they are still yet to see any ROI on programmatic. Although it is changing and we have seen some cases which have included in the report that programmatic is al already giving a return on investment to the brands and it will pick up in the next few years. And, and what is, in, in, in the brands and marketers point of view, what's the future of digital looking like? Okay. Video, as everyone is talking about video, OTT, this is going to be the future. The power of choice, the consumer doesn't want to see what is being fed to them. They have this opportunity of choice. For example, if you go to Netflix, you get you get dozens, millions of options to check on OTT platforms. Engaging mobile experience. Earlier it was just text or a static image, but now you have the power of GIFs, videos, small videos, etc. It's, it's changing the mobile experience completely. Voice-based interaction is going to be the future. By uh, this you mean voice messages on WhatsApp? No, no, no. I mean how they interact with a smartphone through voice. I mean, people will search for, say, uh, a local restaurant using voice. Just Dial is actually putting up ad campaigns using this technology, that like voice. And we have Alexa and uh, Google Home, for example, for these. And this will bring into smarter technology, which advertisers can pick up as, as forms of storytelling and conversational, very conversational kind of uh, advertising. Transformation in payment mechanisms will drive the change of digital. People will actually start adopting, as Kunal had mentioned, uh, WhatsApp, payments. WhatsApp, WhatsApp payments. And tracking consumer behavior as, as advertisers and brands start building DMPs in place, this will, will be, be an, a, a big thing in the coming few years. And hence, data science and machine learning will really boost the, the gr adoption and growth of digital advertising. Abhik, you've done everything correct, but we still are having a print uh, uh, report for a digital uh, data. So do you have anything in video for us? Because ultimately that's what uh, people want to see. 
right? Video is the big thing. That's what Arnab said. We still have a have a written text report. Where is the video content? Yeah, I thought I would. I would, <laughs> I would summarize the. Do you entire, have something in I, video? I have summarized the entire thing in one minute. The entire report in one minute. Bite-sized content for the millennials. Please. Yeah. It's a, okay. Can you somebody play the video, please? Thank you guys. Uh, that's it from us for the report. I hope you read and uh, have a lot of insights to share with your teams, members and uh, you can also write to Abhik at abhik at whatconsult.com.